Hi, my name is Scott Lindsay. I'm the Development Manager at Excel Automation. Today I'm going to demonstrate a chart creation macro that we created for one of our clients that automates the chart creation process based on some source data. Okay, this is the uh, chart creation macro that we created for one of our clients. Uh, it has a simple menu at the start here which uh, enables you to browse and select various different source files. Then once the source file is selected and validated, you create the charts. And finally, uh, something I'm not going to show in the demo today, which is a distribution uh, function, which enables the client to, to distribute the created charts into a, single, into a simple workbook at the end of the process. So I'll just go and select uh, one of the demonstration files. And this is one that I've uh, created previously. Uh, it's just going to create uh, five or six charts for us to look at as a demonstration. Okay, so that's validated that source file, and now we're going to go. Now we're going to proceed to create the charts. So basically, what it does now is it, it goes and uh, extracts that source information, parses it into a chart table of format for Excel, that we to then interpret into the charts based on the chart definitions we have in this workbook which I'll show you at the end of the chart creation process. So right now it's working through all that source data creating chart by chart as it goes and uh, then leaving that within the workbook for us to uh, look at later and either print out or distribute as uh, this client does to its uh, existing uh, customers. Now as I said this one's creating well, it's creating about five or six charts for us to look at and uh, once it gets through uh, that process, it will then go and look at all the other charts it's expecting to see, which it won't find in this demonstration file, but typically in, in this case, it produces up to 75 charts, I believe, for this, for this client. Um, so when that's finished, we'll be able to review the, uh, the charts that are created. So there, it's finished now. I'll click OK. Now, as you can see behind the, the menu, I'll just move that out of the way. We've now got a series of charts are created. Now we have uh, pie charts, bar charts, horizontal bar charts, vertical, um, all different charts, different types. You basically can choose and uh, select via the chart definition the type of chart that you want to display and then uh, all the various colors that you want shown for the particular charts. As you can see here, the color range is pretty, pretty static for this client. Um, and uh, they only wanted to see certain colors on the charts. Um, the source data for this particular chart uh, run has been copied into this workbook as you can see and then throughout the process another sheet is, is created by the, uh, by the process called a calculated source data so that we get the charts in the right format. Now that's a, a pretty quick demo of what uh, the chart creation macro can do. Um, and uh, if you believe this will be of use in your business, please contact us at www.excelautomation.com.au and uh, we can talk about how it could be customised uh, for your purposes. Well, thanks for uh, listening to the demonstration today. And again, once if, you, if you're interested in uh, finding more out about the chart creation macro, um, please contact us at www.excelautomation.com.au.